The first full day of action in Faf and Martin Sess had had a lively morning, second fastest in the day's opener and almost throwing it off the road in stage three. The Latvian youngster though battled back from seventh to fifth through the rest of the day. Hyundai's WRC star Craig Bream would struggle at times in the morning mud, but was finally able to show his class in the drier afternoon, moving into the lead in stage six, only for a puncher to undo all his hard work in the following test. After a podium finish on Faf's challenging stages last season, Georg Linemar would be hopeful of another strong start to the year. Other than a misted windscreen in stage four, this was a positive day for the Estonian, fourth going into the final leg. As a winner at WRC level, Hayden Patton certainly has the pedigree to mount an ERC title bid this season. The 35-year-old had sensibly opted for caution when needed and the tactic proved fruitful into the podium places by the end of the day and he passed the ailing Franceschi late on. The heavy rain in the morning had played perfectly into the hands of Mads Osberg with the cleanest road as the first man in. The Norwegian was leading after the opening loop but an engine issue and drying roads would prove costly in the afternoon, the lead slipping from his grasp. Mikko Heikola would survive the challenging conditions better than most but even the reigning Finnish national champion had a couple of moments in his efforts to fight at the front. With Breen and Osberg both hitting problems in the afternoon though, the 31-year-old was back out front at the end, despite reporting a battery issue of his own. So at the end of the day, Heikela led by 4.2 seconds from Osberg, with Patton third, Linamar fourth and Sesks fifth. Local star Arminda Arojo had been running in tenth before a heavy accident in the afternoon ended his run. Thankfully, both driver and co-driver escaped without major injury.